ball pythons and corn snakes. I guess you could say that the two rival snakes when it comes to beginner animals because they are so alike and both make great choices. So which one's better between the two? Now I can't just tell you which one is better because it's a lot about opinion and uh, what you're looking for and the kind of setup you're going for. But I'll be giving you some information on each that might help you make your hard decision. So firstly, something I'm sure you'll be concerned about is money. Now unfortunately, this isn't going to help you out very much with your decision because they usually cost just about the same starting out. Uh, just a normal morph might be maybe $30 to $50. The, uh, the price is going to range a lot depending on where you are, how common they are around the area, but usually they're both really inexpensive and very alike in price. Uh, the more expensive or more rare morphs you get will be more expensive. They can go up into the thousands of dollars per snake. But if you stay with one of the more common morphs, uh, they're not going to be very expensive. Then enclosure. Uh, they actually need just about the same enclosure size. Corn snakes are good in a 20 gallon for their whole life and ball pythons usually are also. You may want, want to put them in something bigger, but a 20 gallon does work, especially for males because they get smaller or stay smaller. Females will get a bit bigger and a 20 gallon can work, but you might want to go larger to maybe a 30 or 40. But either way, neither of these enclosures take up very much space, so you won't have a very big problem with that. But because ball pythons are uh, originally from Africa, they're gonna need a bit hotter temperatures. You can see all the details on their care uh, at the Go Herping site for ball pythons is goherping.com slash ball pythons and corn snakes goherping.com slash corn snakes. Now corn snakes also do need a hot spot but it doesn't need to be as hot so it'll be a bit closer to the temperature of your house. Uh, corn snakes are also just fine with your house's humidity when ball pythons need a little bit extra but again this isn't difficult to uh, work out and you'll get really used to setting that up properly. Both of these snakes are pretty hardy animals and what I mean by that is if you slip up or make mistakes on their husbandry and caring for them, chances are they'll be just fine. Other more complicated snakes are gonna be more difficult because if you make small errors, that can potentially uh, put their health at risk. But ball pythons and corn snakes are usually gonna be just fine if you make slight errors. So the temperament, as you can see, these guys have been hanging out on uh, the table and they've really been just fine. They don't show any threat to me because I don't show any threat to them. As you get more used to your snake and your snake gets more used to you, you're not gonna have issues. They're both naturally extremely tolerant animals of people and if they're not, you can pretty easily tame them down so that they're more used to you. They very rarely bite. Uh, they never bite out of aggression. It'll only be out of defense if they ever do or if you're feeding them and, you, and they go for your hand instead. But you can avoid that by feeding them with snake tongs. So with both of them, you're not really gonna have any problems when it comes to them not being friendly because they're both just naturally very nice and very docile snakes. So both of these guys are very easy to handle. Ball pythons are naturally gonna be slower and uh, much more calm. They don't move around as much because they have the word ball in their name. That tells you that generally they're just gonna ball up if they're just in their enclosure. So they won't be doing much and you don't have to worry about them slipping out of your hands. Same with kids. Kids are generally just fine holding ball pythons because they are so slow and so calm as you can see. Corn snakes are generally a bit more difficult to handle because they're faster and they're not afraid to try and slip away from you. So usually I don't recommend little kids handling these quite as much um, without supervision or anything. But if you're a bit older, you should be just fine with these. Uh, but yeah, like I said, they are just a bit faster, a bit quicker, and they can sometimes be pretty eager to get away from you and slip out of your hands. So you just have to be more careful with corn snakes and I prefer handling ball pythons. So normally most reptiles are gonna be considered lifetime animals because some of them can even outlive you. Now corn snakes, they'll live about 20 years and older if you care for them really well throughout their life. And ball pythons will live about 40 years and older. So these guys are gonna live much longer and there's a much higher chance that you're gonna have ball pythons for quite a long time. Corn snakes are still a very long time, but about half the time of a ball python. So food, because ball pythons get larger in girth, as you can see, they're gonna need larger food as they get older. Um, this might be small rats or just really large mice, while corn snakes are gonna be able to stay on mice their whole life. So the price will be a bit cheaper with a corn snake because you don't have to give them quite as big food as ball pythons, but both of them are really easy to feed. Uh, you just need to feed them once a week if you're feeding them the correct size and they're both pretty fun to feed. So those are some of the things about ball pythons and corn snakes and the differences between the two. Again, they both make great starter snakes or starter pets or starter reptiles or just any animal.
for you to be uh, learning with and starting out with. They both can definitely get along with you really well. As you can see, Sunny here has no uh, issues with me and neither does Gobi the corn snake. But yeah, those are some of the differences about the two for you to consider. So maybe it helped you out. Uh, if you have other things to add, make sure you write it in the comments. But that's it for me. I'm Alex and thanks for watching.